former Delta co-pilot is set to appear in federal court in Utah in two weeks. This after a Utah grand jury indicted him for allegedly pulling a gun on the captain while they were flying. Daniel Woodruff has been digging into this story today. He's live over at the Salt Lake International Airport with the very latest. Daniel. Yeah, this incident is really raising questions about the mental health of pilots and whether more needs to be done to encourage them to say something when they need help. This after former Delta pilot Jonathan J. Dunn was indicted for an incident back in August 2022. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, Dunn and the plane's captain were disagreeing about whether to divert the flight they were on due to a medical emergency for one of the passengers. Officials say Dunn then used his gun to assault and intimidate the captain, saying that they would be shot multiple times if the flight was diverted. Dunn at the time was a federal flight deck officer, which allows pilots to carry guns on board for security. I spoke with CBS senior transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve about that program. It is seen as both a deterrent and also the last line of defense. The thinking is if uh, a would-be wrongdoer knows there's a possibility that if they can open that fortified cockpit door, it may be the last door they ever open. That serves as a deterrent. It also having some population of trained and armed pilots uh, allows for a last line of defense if everything else goes wrong on that flight. Now, it's unclear which Delta flight this incident occurred on. I did check with the Salt Lake County Jail today, and a spokesman told me that the pilot, Jonathan Dunn, was never booked there. Salt Lake Police also referred my questions about this to the Department of Transportation, which declined to comment. Now, the former pilot in this case is set to be arraigned in federal court here in Salt Lake City on November 16th. And this comes also after another high-profile incident involving a pilot with Alaska Airlines who allegedly tried to shut down the engines mid-flight on the plane that he was on. Reporting live at Salt Lake International, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.